Amy Winehouse, a name synonymous with soul, talent, and tragedy. Her journey through the music world was as captivating as it was heartbreaking. Her voice, raw and powerful, captivated the world. It was a voice that could convey the deepest of emotions, touching the hearts of everyone who listened. Her music, a blend of jazz, soul and R&B, resonated with millions. Each song was a testament to her incredible talent and her ability to blend genres seamlessly. She was a force of nature, a once-in-a-generation talent. Her performances were electric, leaving audiences in awe of her sheer presence and vocal prowess. But behind the beehive and the bold eyeliner, Amy was a young woman grappling with the pressures of fame and the demons within. Her public persona often masked the struggles she faced in her private life. Amy's rise to fame was meteoric. From humble beginnings performing in small venues, she quickly became a household name. Her debut album, Frank, released in 2003, garnered critical acclaim in the UK. It showcased her unique voice and songwriting skills, setting the stage for her future success. But it was her sophomore album, Back to Black, that catapulted her to global stardom. The album's raw emotion and honest lyrics struck a chord with listeners around the world. Released in 2006, Back to Black became an instant classic, winning five Grammy Awards and cementing Amy's place in music history. The album's success was a testament to her incredible talent and the universal appeal of her music. Her music touched a nerve, resonating with a generation hungry for authenticity and raw emotion. Fans connected deeply with her songs, finding solace and understanding in her lyrics. Amy's lyrics, often autobiographical and heartbreakingly honest, gave voice to the vulnerabilities and complexities of love, loss and addiction. Her ability to articulate such profound emotions made her music timeless. She sang with a depth and maturity that belied her young age, capturing the hearts of millions around the world. Her performances were a window into her soul, revealing the pain and passion that fueled her artistry. However, Amy's meteoric rise to fame was accompanied by intense media scrutiny and personal struggles. The constant attention from the paparazzi and the public's insatiable curiosity about her personal life added immense pressure. The weight of expectation, the relentless paparazzi and the pressures of being thrust into the spotlight took their toll. Amy's every move was scrutinised, and her personal battles were laid bare for the world to see. Amy's struggles with addiction and her tumultuous personal life became tabloid fodder, overshadowing her immense talent and the beauty of her music. The media's focus on her troubles often eclipsed her artistic achievements. Behind the headlines and the public persona, Amy was a sensitive soul yearning for love, acceptance, and a sense of normalcy. Her family and close friends were her sanctuary, providing support and understanding. She was deeply affected by the pressures of fame and the constant scrutiny of her personal life. The relentless attention took a toll on her mental and emotional well-being. Despite her success, Amy remained grounded her close-knit family and friends providing a much-needed anchor in the storm that was her life. Their love and support were a source of strength for her, helping her navigate the challenges she faced. Amy Winehouse was born in London in 1983 into a family steeped in music. Growing up in the vibrant city, she was surrounded by a rich tapestry of sounds and cultures that would later influence her unique musical style. Her father, Mitch, a taxi driver, was a jazz enthusiast with a passion for singing. He would often serenade the family with his favourite jazz tunes, 
instilling in Amy a deep appreciation for the genre. Her mother, Janice, was a pharmacist. Despite her demanding job, Janice always made time for music, often playing records at home and encouraging Amy's budding interest in singing. Music was an integral part of Amy's upbringing, with the sounds of jazz legends like Ella Fitzgerald and Frank Sinatra filling their home. The family's collection of vintage jazz records became the soundtrack of her childhood. From a young age, Amy displayed an innate musical talent. She would often perform impromptu concerts for her family, showcasing her powerful voice and natural stage presence. At nine, she enrolled in the Susie Earnshaw Theatre School, where she honed her singing and acting skills. The school provided a nurturing environment for Amy to develop her talents and gain confidence in her abilities. She later attended the prestigious Brit School for Performing Arts and Technology, a breeding ground for British musical talent. Here, Amy was exposed to a diverse range of musical styles and genres, further broadening her artistic horizons. It was during her teenage years that Amy's musical influences began to take shape. She spent countless hours listening to records, absorbing the nuances of different artists and genres. She immersed herself in the sounds of jazz, soul and R&B, drawing inspiration from artists like Sarah Vaughan, Dinah Washington and Carole King. These genres resonated deeply with her, shaping her vocal style and musical direction. She also developed a love for hip-hop, citing artists like Salt and Pepper and Nas as influences. The raw energy and lyrical prowess of hip-hop added another layer to her evolving musical identity. Amy's unique vocal style, a blend of power and vulnerability, was evident from an early age. Her voice had a distinctive timbre that set her apart from her peers, making her performances unforgettable. She possessed a rare ability to convey raw emotion through her singing, captivating audiences with her soulful delivery and heartfelt lyrics. Her performances were not just about technical skill, but about connecting with listeners on a deeply emotional level. By her late teens, Amy was writing her own songs, pouring her heart and soul into her music. Her lyrics were a reflection of her personal experiences, filled with honesty and vulnerability which resonated with many. Amy's debut album, Frank, released in 2003, showcased her songwriting prowess and her unique vocal style. The album was a breath of fresh air in the music industry introducing a new voice that was both raw and refined. Amy's ability to blend different genres seamlessly set her apart from her contemporaries. The album, a blend of jazz, soul and hip-hop influences, was praised for its originality and Amy's refreshingly honest lyrics. Critics and fans alike were captivated by her ability to convey deep emotions through her music, making each song a personal experience for the listener. Frank achieved platinum status in the UK and earned Amy an Ivor Novello Award for songwriting. This recognition was a testament to her talent and hard work, solidifying her place in the music industry as a formidable artist. However, it was Amy's second album, Back to Black, that catapulted her to international stardom. The album's success was unprecedented and it marked a turning point in her career. Released in 2006, Back to Black was a critical and commercial triumph. The album's production, led by Mark Ronson, brought a modern twist to classic soul creating a sound that was both nostalgic and contemporary. Topping charts worldwide and selling over 20 million copies. Its success was a clear